Uh, yeah, last year we were able to come down here and bring the team to serve. Um, this year with COVID, we wanted to do something a little different. So uh, we did pack the bus. We teamed up with Justin, who's the owner over at the local in town across the street from our high school. And uh, we did it from on uh, Saturday was 12 to 6. The guys had volunteered their time. Uh, we put money out from our program to help buy stuff, but also got people in the community to rally around us and uh, help donate to pack the bus. So we wanted to give back, um, especially during this time. It's very important to teach these young basketball players or boys in high school that um, giving back is probably one of the most important things to do, um, even during these hard times. So that was kind of what we did, um, and it turned out to be a great success for us. And uh, our community really backed us on it, and, and these boys did a tremendous job. Um, helping out and volunteering their time. Um, I would say there's probably roughly 40, 50 jackets from sweatpants to sweatshirts. I mean, there's there's quite a bit of stuff, stuff in there. Um, lots of brand new toys, lots of brand new clothes, uh, mix of lightly, gently used items. But uh, I mean, we had we had a bus full, full of stuff, items, and uh, it was pretty amazing. It is probably the biggest donation I've received all year, and it is just mind-blowingly awesome. So it's really gonna be cool. We're probably gonna end up with some extras and we're gonna be able to maybe even partner with some other organizations. All these toys are gonna go to our families here and some people in the community even. So in past years, we've had um, our families fill out a wish list and they give us their sizes and some gift ideas for their children. And then we've packed bags for them. But this year we're trying something new and we turned a house that we own into our Christmas house and it's set up like a toy store in there. And the parents are getting to come in and pick out gifts for their children. So that's what all of this is going towards is to restock the shelves over there to continue to have families come in and do some shopping. All of our families for each child get to pick out four toys, one board game and either a stuffed animal or for the older kids like a purse or a backpack. And um, we have probably served about 40 families so far and we have some more that are coming today. And then as we get closer to Christmas, I'm sure I'll receive some more phone calls of people looking to get some help with Christmas.